Hello there and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and this time I am experimenting it with the legend as to how you can change it dynamically and it becomes really interesting and powerful um, for the end user to do the comparative analysis. Well, in previous two videos, I have shown you how you can change the dimension dynamically, how you can change the measure dynamically. Then I experimented it a little bit with the legend and I found it like really useful. So I want to show you that use case as to where it can be useful. And we are using the same functionality what we did in the dimension, uh, dimension video. All right. So with that, uh, let me just show you and before that a quick information if you have landed very first time on my channel, then uh, it is important to know uh, to know that uh, this sheet where I'm keeping all of my Power BI video tutorials is present here with that title and the YouTube video link. The link for this sheet is present in the description that way you can easily come here and search any of the video of your interest and uh, jump using the link present in the column B. Also, I'm keeping some exercises in my video about my videos which I'm doing related to the workoutwednesday.com. This is the place where, you know, we can find a lot of interesting exercises. So that is also I am keeping it. Um, it is good for my inventory. It is good for you to search it and uh, jump onto that video easily. All right, without further ado, let me just come over here. So you can see that what do we have over here is basically a scenario where we have this chart. So this chart has region access like regional sales uh, or regional discount. We can change it to regional sales, right? And uh, then we have the dynamic measure what we created earlier. And on the legend, we have the dynamic dimension parameter, right? And it becomes really interesting that you have the dynamic a parameter in the legend but your x-axis is static like a region where you want to just compare let's say what is the difference between a regional sales when it comes to category right for example for your furniture and technology is same but office supply is less but for east your technology is the highest and these two are same for central pretty much everything is same but for south technology sales is higher but then if you want to see it by customer segment, you can click on customer segment and now it is completely changed. Now blue represent the consumer and dark blue represent the corporate and home office. So you can see a consistent trend across the region, right? So that kind of a visibility you can get when you dynamically add the legend uh, using the, then the field parameter that we created. So in modeling, you can have this new parameter fields, which we have created for dimension. Earlier in the video, I have shown you how you can add this value or this field over here on the X axis. That way you can get the dimension um, dynamic. But this time I'm using it on the legend. And that way you can make the legend even the dynamic, right? And then not only this, you can even check it from a profit perspective. So even the profit is pretty much the same thing, even the discount, right? So all of this becomes really, really good from an ad hoc reporting perspective where your dimension is same, right? This is like a base, but you can change. What do you want to compare? You can change your measure and get the maximum out of it. So that's a use case I wanted to show you related to the field parameters, the dynamic behavior it introduces into our chart. And I hope you will like it and use it in your reporting. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.